guys in this new video in the game engine series. In the previous video, we've been talking about sequence animation. So I don't want to get too deep in that because we've been talking about this a lot. But I just want to, you know, make things in, in, in perspective so that you and I know what we're talking about here. So we say that we have two different ways of making animation. This is in our case, in our engine. Maybe there is more out there. I don't know. But two ways of making it which is not so different i would say uh, the first way is you have a sprite sheet so this is only one image with different frames and you simply draw a specific part of that image on the screen which is what we did for the player in the other side we have sequence animation which is another way of making animation in which you have different images and you simply draw them uh, on the screen afterwards so like right here each i don't know 10 milliseconds you draw an image on the screen and you remove the last one and it creates an animation like this so don't mind this text box this box right here around the um around the enemy we're going to be talking about that later so that's actually what we've been talking about in the previous videos i simply recommend you to go and check that out if you haven't if you don't know what i'm talking about definitely important and if you are new in this channel we start, we've started a video series about building a game engine in C++ using the SDL library and in this video we're gonna be moving forward and talk about uh, object factory we're gonna be creating like a class which is gonna be our object builder now the object factory is a really important concept when it comes to game dev or whatever game uh, uh, engine or that kind of stuff because we simply want to be able to create object without having to always call new give the name of that object because it's annoying and as programmer we hate writing too much code and we hate to repeat ourselves every time when we write things that's why the game factory is really important we don't want to be creating for each kind of object like if you want to create for example a tree which is animated then you don't want to be always saying created animated tree like new equal animated tree because you will have over thousand animated animated trees in your game and imagine you will have to create them manually by yourself i think that's really difficult that's where the game factory come in in in, in, in the game so to say so that's why it's important to know about that game engine and we're gonna be getting a little bit deep in that in this video so before we get started i want to invite you guys to hit that subscribe button in the description below i also want to invite you guys to go on patreon and support my work if you find this content interesting it's really mean a lot for me when you guys can support my work because i really um, enjoy doing this and i hope i'm really helping you guys because that's what i'm looking for and uh, yeah if you have any question or concern anything that i've done that you don't understand or maybe you think there is a better way of doing i'm always open for that just don't leave without saying something just write a comment down there and let me know what you think so now let's get started So let's go back to our code block and uh, I want to open my engine.cpp just want to show you uh, before we before we get into the code of that game object factory itself as we can create an object using it right here you can see we have game object player object factory get instance create object we simply give the type and then we say we give the property of that object and we are able to create the object and put it in here which is actually what we have right here on the screen now before we get started before you start uh, trying to write any line of code what you need to do to get started in this video is to create two classes uh, one class uh, sorry which means two files in this case so we're gonna you're gonna be creating a factory you can call it whatever you want factory object factory the problem is i called it object factory because we're gonna be creating more factories I think um, I've been working on the UI and graphic component and all that kind of stuff to create like editors where we can actually edit stuff. I'm actually working on creating a UI library with, with SDL that we're going to be integrating in this 
it's really gonna be interesting so I call it object factory because we also have something like state factory for create state for example pause play you know a menu we also have we also want to have a factory like that and that's why we want to make the difference between all those factories so go ahead and create this class and put it in there now what you should have inside of that class we need to include map because we want that this memory we don't need it right now I think so I'm gonna make sure ah, of course we do because we're creating a function so okay you want to include the map we're coming to that right now you want to include all this library right here now the first thing we have right here is the create object method of this class which takes the type that we want to create if you remember when we created our our enemy right our player right here sorry here we did give this name right here and we pass the property that's the idea of this this is this parameter here and this is the property now we have the register type whenever uh, we create a new class of object I don't know a uh, flying object helicopter car whatever then we want to register that class so that you can later create an instance of it and put it in your game that's why we need this register type right here it takes the class name which is a string and it, it also takes a function which is the constructor so to say which is the constructor of that class the name of the constructor of that class and we also want to make this class static because we want to always have only one object created at a time so we want to be we want to centralize everything so that only this guy can handle it we don't want to have different classes around the different factory around that, that would be a little bit dangerous but maybe we can change that later but for now i think it's more optimal like this and i i'm pretty sure you already know how to make a class static we've been talking about this thousands of times we made this for the camera or the engine class for the event handler class so but it's basically simple you create a static instance of this class and here you have this static method right here get instance which returns the current instance that was created so if that instance is still equal to null pointer we create a new one and we return it that's the whole idea about this and down here and we want to make the constructor private so that no one can create an instance of that class that's that's important and down here we have this map which is going to be our registry which is going to be our type registry whenever we create a new class as i said like car flying object whatever we want to register that object so that later our factory can use it to create object now there is different way of making this object factory there is an easy way of making this i i just want to show you this on the screen right here because this is the easiest way of making this you could simply have this method in your object factory which takes the type and you simply check the type that was given you say okay if the type was player you return player if it was enemy you return enemy if assets but you can see as you will create new classes you will always have to come here and put the same stuff and you know there is something i hate about this too much ifs that's not a way you can actually have an optimal you know if you want to be someone who can write robust code you want to avoid if as much as possible because too much test means too much computer results that's why this way is not optimal but if you have a small project which doesn't have a lot of things which is not going to be growing too much you might probably want to go for this that's that, that won't be a big deal simply create this and i think it's going to be okay for the road but for us we don't want to do something like that we want to instead create a template class called register so a template class is a class that can actually have different uh, um, properties according to the type given to him in our case right here we only have a constructor inside this constructor takes the class name that we want to create the class name that we want to register so which is actually the type that we have up here and the only thing this register does is it's called the, the register function of the factory up here has the class name and create right here method i like the constructor i would say the constructor for that class you see return new this is a function and we simply say return new type this is actually what we're doing 
so we haven't made any check yet we don't have to say if the you know we don't care about that this is going to be handled later so we create new class we simply register that class right here and we can use it now if we switch over to the cp file you can see right here first thing which is really important oh no i'm sorry I stop on is to make sure you initialize your instance if you create a static class you want to make sure you initialize the instance to know when uh, how the compiler will you know do some bad thing that you don't want to see so object factory and we simply have this register what we actually do is we take that class name and we put this function in the place if you remember our map right here it has a string and it also has the property this function right here with the property as parameter that's what we're passing right here now this create object is simple we make sure this type exists so we want to find the type that was given we want to find it in our registry that's where we only have one if you see the other one had like thousands if if you have thousand classes you will have thousand if in your code which is really evil that's that's a bad idea i will never write something like that even though this could be used in some case but yeah and we simply check first we find we're trying to find if we have that type in our registry if we reach the end you know if we reach the end that means there is not that class we haven't given any message error message yet to say there is no because we know we're writing consistent stuff we want to ask something we haven't given that's why we don't want to make any error message right now so and we simply create that object we call the constructor or the thing that was given inside we simply call it and we give the parameter we return that object so that's our factory this is how we can create a factory for our game but now we've created our factory there is still one thing to do which is register new classes so how have we done that so if i go over to my warrior.cpp you can see right here we have registered this class this class right here we simply say static registrar and we put the name of that type you want to make sure you put a type which exists so you don't want to go out and make experiences it won't work if you don't have a type which exists because we have our warrior created in this warrior that that edge and we can actually use it here to register it and you put the name of that you can put whatever you want as the name it doesn't matter i did the same thing for the enemy also i call it boss but depends on you how you want to put that name in your code and you can see when you register your class you can simply go out and create an object like this i know maybe for you who are probably beginners in the game there you are asking yourself why am i doing this why should i do this it's because you we haven't done uh, we haven't used it yet to create our levels and stuff but this is going to be more clear as, as we move on in this video series we're going to be seeing how important this is because we're going to be creating an xml file in which we're going to be specifying all kind of object we want to have in our level for example in our same and then we we'll simply pass that object and this factory will easily create object for us without us writing a lot of code and this will reduce the amount of, of line of code that we could have written you know and that's really something we want we don't want to write too much that's the idea of this factory now there is also one thing i want to mention so if i compile this um, there is also one so you see this box collider you already know because if you have been following along then we created that class before but there was something actually weird about the when we had to draw that box collider on the screen we have some we had some couple of lines of code right here in the draw function in our warrior or enemy but we i actually changed that because you know it doesn't make sense to always write it because if i have to create a new object right now and i want to check the box call out collider around that object then i will have to copy and paste that same code there and that will you know increase the amount of line of code that we're writing now that, that's the reason why we created this method right here and here we can simply go and call that draw method we will be able to draw the box collider of each object without having to deal with it now you can see uh, this thing is bouncing 
because I think it's because of my update function that I called before the render or something like that. I'll check that out. But yeah, that's also uh, some small that we need to figure out. So um, that was basically what I had to show you in this uh, video. I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you find the content interesting. And if you guys find the content interesting, about to like the video. Leave a comment in the description below. Uh, yeah. If you have any question or concern, you can ask me. I'm open for critics. So go out and support me on Patreon if you can. If you can, that's good. So have a nice day. Ciao.